Hello and welcome to this review video for Craft Inspector. First I'd like to say uh, thanks for putting your, your trust in me. Um, I myself am actually an online marketer and Etsy shop owner. Um, and because of my um, what I've learned in online marketing, I have some uh, research methods that I think may be of use to you. So basically, I'm offering those uh, a video with those a uh, well, couple of those methods as a bonus, just to sort of incentivize you for getting um, Craft Inspector. So just watch this video until the end, and then I'll tell you some more information about how to get that bonus. So this review is generally for anyone who wants to, who would like to discover insights into some of the best-selling e-commerce. Uh, products today. And by the way, um, I should state by products, I don't mean products necessarily for you to buy. I mean consumer end products, like what, what makes, what data can reveal about the best-selling e-commerce products and how can you um, use that data as an insight for creating your own products. That's basically what this is all about. So although Craft Inspector is primarily designed for Etsy shop owners, uh, the insights um, can be applied to eBay, Amazon, and other e-commerce platforms. So there's no hard limits because uh, uh, Amazon, eBay, uh, Redbubble, Zazzle, Etsy, a lot, um, a lot of the markets that go, or the customers that go to those sites, there's a lot of overlap. Right. If um, maybe if a customer doesn't find something on one site, they might go to another site. So uh, this methodology, although the software is targeted for Etsy and it uses the Etsy um, search uh, engine and the Etsy platform, it's definitely it's not limited to Etsy. Uh, so to get the most out of Craft Inspector, uh, there's one key appreciation that you should have. And that's the value of research. And of course, that's why you're, you're here. Um, the aim of this review is to help you come to an informed decision as to whether Craft Inspector is a worthy investment in your business. Um, basically, what Craft Inspector, the claim is that it helps you to, uh, to do better research. It helps you ultimately to find uh, data points and to, uh, to glean insight from those data points. That's basically it. Um, so the key question that this review asks and answers is, does Craft Inspector meet the claims made by its vendor? Now, uh, in other words, does Craft Inspector perform in the following four areas? And these are the four areas or the four uh, components of the product, of the software that um, it uses to uh, to extract certain uh, data. So there's a keyword generator, product search, a shop search, and a shop analyzer. And in this, uh, in this review, I'm gonna go through each of those. So to begin, I just wanna show you um, one of the key features of the Etsy platform that uh, Craft Inspector uses to sort of extract data. So here we are, as you can see on Etsy. Let's say we want to search for something. So you go, for example, we want something handmade. Now you see how Etsy suggests all these potential search queries. Um, this means, like these aren't at random. These are uh, what real customers have typed into uh, Etsy. So that shows you that there's demand, or at least that there's some type of interest for these these items, handmade cards, handmade candles, handmade gifts, and so on. And if we keep that in mind, here's a Craft Inspector, the software right here. And let's go to, a, again, there's four main components of it. There's the keyword generator, product search, shop, shop search, and shop analyzer. So we'll start with keywords. And the uh, the goal of this uh, of this component of the software is to 
use the Etsy um, keyword suggest feature and try and give you uh, numerous suggestions that you can uh, keep and tabulate. They'll give you ideas for, for products. So, for example, let's say Etsy is known for handmade stuff, right? I think that's what it's uh, most defined for, or at least what it started with. So, handmade. So, I type handmade uh, as a seed keyword. Now, you could click on uh, deep search, but uh, that'll well, that'll give you more suggestions. It'll also take longer. Um, I'm just going to click on go because that's that'll give you the uh, the idea of, uh, of what it does. So you can see this progress bar. What it's doing is basically it's going to Etsy and typing in many um, many iterations of handmade and extracting the uh, the product ideas that come up. So whereas with Etsy, like on the Etsy platform, you only have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, let's say 11 suggestions. And you can get more if you just type handmade A, handmade B. Basically, that's what it's doing. So anyway, instead of having to do that to come up with hundreds of them, what the software does is it sort of does it for you. It has uh, 324 items instead of 11. And those are all listed for you here so you can scroll through them and each one of these is a is a keyword phrase that you can potentially get an idea for um, and yeah that's that's it in a nutshell so the next component is product search and uh, whereas before with the keywords generator, it just gave you a, a list of keywords. With this one, you type in a search phrase, again, let's say handmade. And now uh, there's other, there's some criteria here, or some variables that you can adjust. Um, if you want to check on all categories, you can do that. Um, this, where the shop location is, or which country or countries it ships to. Price, relevancy, whether ads are included, included in the results you see or not. In this case, I'm just going to click on search. And as you can see, hopefully see, instead of keywords, this time you're seeing a, a list of products. You have the, uh, the rank. This is the rank, rank position, this uh, column is where it found that product in the uh, Etsy search result. And anyway, so you can see the, the listing ID, the title, the category, a whole bunch of data about, um, about each of these products that are listed here. So that's an overview of how the, um, the products, uh, the product search category or product search component of uh, Craft Inspector works. So for uh, shop search, let's say, again, we'll go handmade search. So whereas uh, keyword, the keyword section brought you keywords, the product search suggested products, uh, the shop search suggests uh, shops that have, that are some, somehow related to your search phrase. In this case, it's handmade. So it could be most likely that they have handmade products, so that handmade isn't the, the name of the, the shop or what have you. So it found, wow, it actually found thousands of shops related to handmade. Now, of course, if you can get more specific, right? I wanted, let's say you make handmade dolls. You can just click that and it'll, it'll um, bring up search results that are, that have to do with handmade dolls. So far, it's found 80 of them. But actually, if I wanted it to be more accurate, more um, proper, I would have cleared the results from the previous search and entered a handmade dolls. But regardless, um, if you sell handmade dolls, you can type that in there. And then, or if you, I shouldn't say if you sell, if you make handmade dolls and you'd like to find a market to, to sell to, you type handmade dolls in there, whatever your 
um, whatever it is you create, and then you can get some shop information um, or information on many shops pertaining to that to that item that, that you're interested in creating. The shop analyzer is uh, the fourth component of this, uh, the fourth main component of this software. And what it does is it helps you to analyze a particular shop. So let's say, okay, for example, let me go back to shop search. This, the, the first one that I see here is called handmade. So let me go back to shop analyzer. It says enter a Etsy shop name, handmade. I clicked on uh, enter. And what it'll do is uh, that whichever shop you enter in here, it'll go to that shop and extract things like uh, the shop name, the shop owner, the listings, the sections, how many hearts it has. Hearts are like, it's like a like button, basically. The sales, the views, a whole bunch of information about the shop and practically each product that's listed in the shop. Uh, let's go for, let's see. Let me just play around with, with this. I just want you to, to see what can be done. And I'm not even, I'm not showing you like everything that this, this software can do. Like this software can really do a lot. In fact, let me uh, extrapolate on it. Um, let's say I like this result number two. What I can do is click on it. I click send to shop analyzer. So it sends it straight there. Uh, what I'll do is I'll clear, clear this out. Click on analyze shop. I know so it's still working, like it's still extrapolating data, but you can see it, it's beginning to show me a, a whole lot of information about this particular shop. Um, I can already see it has about 571 listings, 19 sections. It's made uh, over, well, over 1,700 sales. Um, as I speak right now, the software is still working at extrapolating uh, data. And it hasn't f fully finished yet, but um, I think you can get the point. Uh, it extrapolates a lot of data for your uh, for a particular shop, and for each listing, you can click on the uh, the listing ID to be taken taken to uh, to your default browser where you can see that particular product. So, for example, I just clicked on it, and this is the the second product that's listed. On the software, so I click the link in the software, and it uses my default browser, in this case uh, Firefox, to display that product. And uh, one thing you can do is, well, there's a number of things you can do. Let me uh, try to. Okay, I'd like to show you something here. There's, there's a couple different ways you can save the, this file, this information. You can save it as a project file, which is um, only so that the software can open it. They can also save it as CSV, which is like um, a, a spreadsheet. You can save it as text. Uh, one thing I, I really like, I think it's really cool, is you can save this information as a HTML data feed. And by the way, um, Dave, the creator of this product, has a, about so far about 16 uh, videos for this. So he covers this in much more detail than I'm going to, because this I just want this to be a, a quick overview video for you to see, to help you make a decision about whether or not this is a, a good purchase for your business. Um, but that said, I'd like to show this one particular feature for you. So interactive data feed HTML file. I clicked on that option, uh, feed reports, documents. Okay, I saved it and moved it to here, to this part of my uh, my computer. And I'll just let it load. 
Okay, what you see here, and this isn't a web page per se. Well, okay, it is a web page, but it's based on your uh, it's based on your local desktop on the file that's saved. It's not really uh, an internet based web page. But regardless, you, I don't think you really need to worry about that. Um, well, what you see here is you get this feed. You can save your your, your research as this feed, and you can also um, sort by. Like I think this is really neat. You can click on how you want this information sorted, and it'll in front of your eyes. It'll just uh, rearrange that data um, accordingly. So I think that's really neat. See, so if I click on shop sales, it, it'll arrange in uh, it basically in descending order. So that's a, I think that's a really really a neat feature to have. And um, Dave in one of the um, the tutorial videos says that if it's a great idea, let's say you're doing this to search for clients or for a friend, you can you can give them this file. You can like save it and send it to them, and they have a very visually appealing, you know, professional looking uh, data file basically. That's not just data, that has images too. So that's really a, a neat, neat feature. In fact, uh, on a similar look, on a similar note, let me, um, one feature you have here is you can show product images. Now it, it can take up a lot of bandwidth, but you do have that option. So let me click on that. And you can see the product images are loading uh, here. And you can even choose, like you can, uh, adjust the, uh, the size of the product image. Um, one thing, one, and this is what I like about this product, about Dave and his, uh, his ingenuity, um, in order to save bandwidth, um, the images are load as you request them. So as you scroll down, that's when the images load. So you can see, I, I don't know if you can see that, that effect is, they sort of, um, they sort of fade in. And that, that's one thing that's done to sort of save bandwidth, so that instead of all the images loading at once, they only load as you scroll through. So that's a little technical detail, but um, I just want to tell you that to impress upon you the thought that has gone into developing this, this software, not only in its, um, in its uh, aesthetics, but um, beneath the hood, so to speak, in its coding and, uh, and how it runs, uh, it's you can use this on Mac and a PC. Um, I'm using it on a PC. I'm sure it works equally well on a Mac. Um, it doesn't require any like proxies or capture solving, at least not from what I've seen anyway. So that's one less thing you have to worry about. And yes, um, you can do uh, a lot more technically with this this software, but hopefully this video has given you uh, a good overview um, of this product. And hopefully it'll help you decide whether or not you'd like to invest in it. Um, so um, in order to maybe give you a bit of a bonus and to incentivize you for investing in uh, Craft Inspector, um, I'm going to offer a bonus. So at the end of this video, I'm going to show you the, the URL for my website where this review is. And uh, also, if, there, if you're on YouTube, the link will be beneath the video. Um, but here's, here's the page, and um, I basically give you an overview of what Craft Inspector is and what it does, as well as each of its uh, main, the four main components. And um, now, as I record this, this uh, bonus page is still under construction, but basically just, just click on the link below and come to this page, and if you like what you see here, which you probably will if you've come this far in the video, then yeah, feel free to um, to click uh, the bottom of the page and get your your bonus. Thanks for your time.